so I think the first film of Hitchcock that I saw uh, was probably when I was growing up and it would have been Dial M for Murder, uh, which to me was just a, a magnificent and well-paced film with lots of different twists and a uh, really good plot. That and also probably North by Northwest. They were always on the TV uh, when I was growing up and I think that was one of my favourites as well as it built up to the finale, the, the end of the film was just absolutely brilliant and it was a really good example of how Hitchcock directed. He's without doubt one of the best directors that has ever been um, in the film industry and it, you can tell immediately that it's got his stamp and the way they're, they're paced and the way um, they're always thrilling and enjoyable. Also the mix of drama and humour. Um, I like particularly the fact that you always um, you always try to find out where he is in the films. You know, there's a little bit of cameo of Hitchcock in every single film. So he always keeps you guessing and as I said there are lots of twists and lots of plot developments. Favourite scene would be um, in The Birds when the birds are attacking the telephone kiosk, uh, telephone booth and the gas station blows up. I think that's really dramatic and very tense and also probably again within the birds um, when they're attacked um, in the house and they can hardly leave the house because of all the birds that are congregating. That's the, those are the two best scenes but when it comes to the best film I think Dial M for Murder because there's so many twists to that and it's just such an enjoyable film so I think that would be the best film. His career is quite interesting in terms of the diversity because he started out in London coming out of poverty and doing silent movies and then was quite a big part of the British film industry and doing games with studios films. Then moved over to Hollywood with bigger budget, big Hollywood stars and then at the end um, I think he, the kind of his, his ability um, kind of waned and he tailed off a little when he came back to doing the, the films in, in the UK. So I think Hitchcock certainly had an influence on other directors. Um, one example is in Jaws, uh, when uh, the Schneider character uh, sees the, the child being attacked uh, for the first time by a shark, and the, the dolly zoom goes in and out, and it's very similar to what Hitchcock did in Vertigo, when uh, James Stewart goes up the stairs and, again, the dolly zoom um, shot. So I think that's just one example of how Hitchcock influences current and uh, modern directors. I think in terms of who my favourite actor is, it's the most prolific actor is probably my favourite and that's Jimmy Stewart. He was just in so many films and so consistent. I mean, in many cases he played exactly the same role throughout the films, but he was very good and he was good at what he, what he, what he played. So I think Jimmy Stewart is probably my favourite actor.